If you want to know how you can make your own launchable nuke in Roblox Studio, make sure you watch this video all of the to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own nuke system and what I mean with that for example uh, in some games you can purchase a nuke for like a few hundred robux, a few thousand robux, whatever you want you can buy it, a nuke gets launched, it will uh, fly back to the bottom you know like to the to the floor or whatever you want to call it, base plate and then explodes and then kills everybody which touches the radiation sphere that uh, like expands when it explodes that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial so if you're new to my channel and you like this video make sure to give it a like if you like it and if you don't like it please drop a dislike on the video subscribe to my youtube channel to never miss out on anything i upload hit that notification bell to, to never miss out on anything i upload I, I know yes it's very cool and if you want to become a member you can do that by clicking the blue join button down below on the uh, well next to the subscribe button yeah, basically that. That is all I wanted to say for this tutorial. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So first of all, before we actually actually start, you want to go to the uh, to the link in the description. You know, there's a model link. You want to get that and then get back to the tutorial. So uh, by now you have gotten the, the model link. Then you're in studio. As you can see, I am very flexible in studio. Anyways. You want to go to view at the top, you want to go to toolbox, and then you'll see this, very cool. You want to go to my model, so inventory at the top, and then you want to search for it, because Roblox messed up their filtering system, I think, uh, so now you got to search for it, and just search nuke, and then it will be right here, purchase nuke system by newbie derpy dev. So we're going to click on that, boom, uh, includes three scripts, actually five, but don't worry, uh, everything is going to be 100% safe, there's no virus or anything, so let's click OK. And then you can click this way, and then you'll see this. And you're probably probably wondering, newbie, what is this? Five folders in this. Uh, yes, this tutorial is actually a huge project, uh, which I made in a little bit of like three hours. So uh, give a like if you like it. So uh, what do I have to do, newbie? So you want to go to uh, one of the folders. So replicator storage. You want to open it, and then you want to copy what's inside. So we're gonna. Uh, select everything that is inside the replicated storage folder and we are going to drag that into replicated storage and do that for everything so service script service boom service script service uh, service storage get both of them server storage and then start to GUI put them in start to GUI and then workspace the purchased folder put that in workspace so now you'll see empty folders let's delete all of those and this is your system set up. This is exactly what you have to do. Uh, and now we are going to be coding all of this. So, um, yeah, by coding, we will actually um, may get this uh, mechanic to work. So let's go to, let's code all of this right now and make sure you follow up. Because let me just show you all the scripts. There is a script in uh, over here, two over here, and I believe one in the shockwave part. Yep, so we have one, two, three, four, five five scripts which we are going to have to code so make sure you watch and follow up oh and before we actually code make sure you go to game settings at the top go to monetization and then make a developer product so you're gonna see create so boom uh, it will not pop up just click save and then go back to monetization and then uh, change it so I'm gonna do a uh, nuke explosion lol and I'm gonna do a uh, 10,000 robux because why not because it's really expensive I'm gonna click save I'm going to click on game settings, I'm going to go to monetization, and I'm to, going to copy the ID to clipboard, so boom, copy it. And then go to this script over here with the weird ID, and then paste your ID in it. Boom. Uh, what I've just done, or else er, all the Robux you earn goes to me. You don't want that, you want the Robux for yourself, so that's why you have to change the ID, which we just did. So that is what you have to do before coding, so now let's actually enter the coding section.
so that was all of the coding for this tutorial and now we have entered the recap section so I'm gonna be explaining uh, most of the code so let's start off with the server script we are uh, requiring services we are setting the process receipt function from marketplace service to our custom one and then when there's gonna be a shockwave we are going to make every camera shake we are going to make the shockwave actually bigger you know because it's a shockwave part we're gonna wait 10 seconds until we destroy it and then stop the shake if someone hasn't died yet Pretty simple, right? Then this thing, we are checking if you touched it. If you touched it, we are checking if you are a player. If you're a player, you're gonna die. That is how, that is how simple it gets. The process receipt function. This is a large script. So, requesting services, setting variables, process receipt function. Uh, if there's no player, we're not gonna process it. If there's no module, we're not gonna process it. And if there is, we are gonna use the purchase of function and we are gonna purchase granted it because it works we are welding the model we are uh, doing some calculations to see how fast we need to uh, move the nuke and then the move so every time uh, the nuke moves we are setting the new point to one because there are nine points and every time uh, it it uh, completes the tween we're gonna add one if there's no nuke yet, we are making a nuke, we are welding the nuke, we, if, the, if the nuke cannot go further, we are going to destroy it, because it means it hit the ground. Then we will set the position of the shockwave part to the nuke, so, because it, it literally lands there. We are destroying the nuke model, we are setting the value to, to true from the nuke exploded value. We are firing the shockwave event, and we are after two seconds, we are setting it to false. Over here, we are just doing some calculations between it, as you can see, uh, the new point, uh, the distance, the time, and then tweening it. And then every time uh, it completes the tween, we are going to call this move function again. This one's pretty simple, requesting services, the purchase function. Uh, when someone purchases this in the chat, there will be a message saying like, this, this person bought a nuke, take cover. And then we are simply going to move the nuke and then set on going to true because there is a nuke uh, event going on. The client script, requesting services, and the remote event. Uh, two variables. Oh, no, 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 delete that breakpoint. My bad. Uh, if there's no argument, then we will do nothing. If the argument is nuke purchased, we will make a system message and we will make your camera shake just a little bit. When the shockwave comes, uh, we will give you a huge... Um, a, a huge camera shake as you can see it's literally times five uh, and then we'll just you know shake your camera and then if we want to stop the shake we will just set it to true reset your camera and then change the variable to false again and whenever you press the nuke button to buy one we'll prompt you with the nuke purchase thingy and that is because the points are messed up I think the points are messed up yeah they are way way too close to the ground so if you would set this to zero, as you can see, these are the points. Let me just find them over here. This is the rotation of the, uh, you know, of the nuke. But as you can see, it literally goes to the ground. And we want this part, that is number nine. So we want this part a little bit under the ground. So let's move this up to something like this. So make sure the last part is a little bit above the ground like this. I'm actually going to move it away uh, just so we can actually see the nuke. I'm going to put this over here. Like that, and this is all you have to do. So before we actually test uh, for the second time, go to your process receipt function and then drop down to line 50 and change parent to points. Because this is a really big issue. Uh, if you set it to parent, it will break the entire system. So make sure you change it to points. So before we actually test this out for the second time, go to your process receipt function, go all the way down, and you will see uh, if not workspace.purchasefolder.parent you want to make sure it is points and not parent. Then go to the top and change 500 to 50 because 500 is way too fast. So let's close this out. And this is all we have to change. So um, I think it is. So. so let me just double check. And in your server script over here at the last line, you want to, uh, like when we destroy it, you want to do replicated storage dot ongoing dot value is equals to false. This is all you have to change and this will... Uh, fix the script because uh, I made some genuine mistakes so I'm really sorry for that and now let's get you testing so three two one boom play let's do this I am very excited because it's a really cool thing to have in your game 
So I'm gonna buy a nuke. Would you like to buy a nuke explosion LOL for 10,000 Robux? Three, two, one, boom. A mild, you know, a little, a little like small camera shake. That's what I mean. As you can see, the nuke actually goes up and then it will come down. As you can see, boom. It's gonna come all the way down. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to run. No, 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 no. Okay, let me just run. And as you can see, and then we'll get a big, uh, as you can see, camera effect gets huge. The explosion is coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm never gonna catch up. I'm no! And I died. Yep. And after 10 seconds, everything fades away. As you can see, everything is just completely gone. There are no errors, and we can buy another nuke. So, three, two, one, boom. Why not? I'm just gonna buy a new nuke. Oh, no. It's gonna come off the ground, like over here. But oh, there it is. So, it's actually really cool to look at, too. So, if you just do this, uh, shift P, you will get into a cinematic mode, and you can actually see this. So, this is the nuke, and it is going down. No, 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 no. I am gonna die once again. Boom. And as you can see, now the explosion is coming again, and I'm gonna die. Three, two, one, and boom. I just died. And the entire explosion is here still. So let me just show you uh, the camera shake actually stops whenever um, you're out of range. So let me just go all the way to the corner of the map. Okay, boom, there we go. So nuke, three, two, one, boom. Let me just buy another nuke. And it's going to come out of the ground. It is right over there, as you can see. That's the nuke. So let's just casually wait. Uh, oh, no, I fell off the map. Anyway, so we're back. So let me just buy another nuke. As you can see in the chat, actually, uh, it launched a nuke. Three, two, one, boom. Newbie Rupert Def launched the nuke. Take cover. And there you go. There you see. Boom. It is, it is going up to the sky. It is actually really amazing to look at. Just look at that. It just flies and then turns and then comes all the way down. It's a pretty cool addition to have in your game. So as you can see, I'm having a little camera shake and then it just turns into a huge camera shake. Like this, 22 a bomb, boom, as you can see. And then the explosion is on its way. And uh, I'm out of range, at least I hope so. And as you can see, it will not uh, kill me. Boom. As you can see, the nuke disappeared and my camera shake stopped. And I can buy another nuke. It is really repetitive. So, boom, another nuke. You get the drill. So, let me just go to the nuke. And where is it? Where is it? Where, oh, there it is. Oh, no. Anyways, this is the tutorial, and if you did in fact enjoy the tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.